Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. In today's video, we will be sharing the messages of St. Michael to Fr. Chris Aller. Let us begin by praising the Trinitarian God with gratitude for calling us to listen to these messages and with humility to respond in our hearts. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. This is the message of November 30, 2023. I hear the voice of the Lord. I will not go and say, do this or that for me. I will light a holy fire in those hearts that listen to my word and follow me. On December 2, 2023, Father Chris Aller said, while receiving Holy Communion at Holy Mass, the Sacred Host beat four times like a heart in my mouth. I clearly heard the voice of the Lord. Holy and eternal is my love for you. Father Chris Aller received an apparition of the King of Mercy on December 11, 2023, in the House of Jerusalem in Cage. The King of Mercy appears in a purple robe in the form of a prog with a large golden royal crown. The violet-purple blue robe is embroidered with golden closed lily bud buds. The King of Mercy wears a violet-purple blue cord with violet-blue-purple tassels on his robe. The King of Mercy comes closer to me and shows me the tassels on his hand. Then he carries his royal scapular in his hand, a blue scapular, and royal crown. In the name of the Father and of the Son, that is me, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See how great my love for people is. I am with you. Many people do not understand me. If they repent and have a pure heart, I will dwell in their hearts completely. Father Chris Aller received an apparition of the Holy Archangel Michael on December 19, 2023, at the House of Jerusalem in Cage. A large golden ball of light floats in the sky above us. The Holy Archangel Michael comes down to us from this large golden ball of light. He is dressed in the colors white and gold with a crown and golden sword. Saint Michael looks at us all and says, Bless you. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Accept the grace and mercy of your King of Mercy. He has chosen the golden scepter for you. This is the scepter of his grace and mercy. Accept the holy sacrament of penance, the sacrament of reconciliation. This is the way of his golden scepter. He who has no contrition and repentance in his heart will one day be punished with the iron scepter of his justice. Therefore, choose mercy, dear soul. Quote Deus, who is like God. I have come down to you from heaven. Ask for my friendship, and I will look upon you. Ask for reparation before the Eternal Father, who has turned his merciful eyes on you, who fulfill his will. Now I see a second smaller golden ball of light opening up in the sky. Saint Joan of Arc emerges from this smaller golden ball of light. She is carrying the V-Gate, the Holy Scriptures, in her hands. I see the open passage of Holy Scripture, Ephesians 2 verses 1 to 10. Saint Joan of Arc speaks, Love the Lord and make Mary the Mother of God with all your heart. Do not be confused in this time of tribulation. Open your heart wide to heaven. Rejoice, for the Archangel Michael is praying for you at the throne of the Eternal Father. God's Son is gracious to you through His appearance in His holy childhood. Be courageous, confess your faith, become living witnesses just as the saints of heaven were on earth. Let no sorrow enter your heart. All falsehood will quickly pass away. God is King, God is Lord, and like a breeze, error will pass away. If you ask for reparation, if you rise and arise, pray, sacrifice, repent, and offer up the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Do not be afraid, be courageous. Saint Joan of Arc looks at the Archangel Michael, then Saint Michael the Archangel speaks, quote Deus, who is like God. The Lord is already calling his own. Remain vigilant. It is not sin that conquers, but I who conquer. Amen. Saint Michael says to Manuela that he will now intervene in nature to shake people awake. Manuela says, I know you must do this. I know that you are lovely. 
The rain is for repentance. Yes, I have understood. Then the Archangel Michael says, quote Deus, who is like God. Manuela responds, Dio gracious. Thank you, Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael says goodbye. May God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit bless you. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel asks if we want to remain faithful to God. Manuela replies, yes, we will remain faithful. Saint Michael wants the prayer to him in Latin. We pray it. I receive the message to think of the French lily. These are the upcoming lectures in France. Then Saint Michael the Archangel disappears into the light, and so does Saint Joan of Arc here is the Bible passage Ephesians 2 verses 1 to 10, which was referred to in the message. You were dead through the trespasses and sins in which you once lived, following the course of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work among those who are disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the passions of our flesh, following the desires of flesh and senses, and we were by nature children of wrath like everyone else. But God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not the result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. Please join us now for prayers and devotions for unity in the church, in our communities, and in our families. Please join us in mitigating our Heavenly Father's anger, therefore drawing down mercy for sinners and the defeat of God's enemies. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Be merciful to us, O God, and reject not our prayers when amid our afflictions we call upon thy holy name and seek with love and confidence thy adorable face. Admirable is the name of God. Amen. May the most holy, most sacred, most adorable, most incomprehensible, and unutterable name of God be always praised, blessed, loved, adored, and glorified in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, by all the creatures of God, and by the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord Jesus Christ, in presenting ourselves before thy adorable face to ask of thee the graces of which we stand most in need, we beseech thee, above all, to grant us that interior disposition of never refusing at any time to do what thou requires of us by thy holy commandments and divine inspirations. Behold, O God, our protector, and look on the face of thy Christ. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer thee the holy face of Jesus to appease thy anger and obtain the conversion of the wicked and the blasphemers. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer thee the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ and all the other instruments of his holy passion, that you may put division in the camp of thy enemies. For as thy beloved Son has said, a kingdom divided against itself shall fall. Amen. May God arise and let his enemies be scattered, and let all those who hate him flee before his face. May the thrice holy name of God overthrow all their plans. May the holy name of the living God split them up by disagreements. May the terrible name of the God of eternity stamp out all their godlessness. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer thee the holy face of Jesus covered with blood, sweat, dust, and spittle in reparation for the crimes of communists, blasphemers, and by the profaners of his holy name and of the holy day of Sunday. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer thee the adorable face of thy well-beloved Son for the honor and glory of thy holy name and for the salvation of our country. Amen. Eternal Father, we ask of thee as many souls as was the number of the drops of blood as thy divine Son shed in his passion. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer thee the holy face of Jesus for the expiation of our sins and for the needs of Holy Church. Amen. Eternal Father, look upon the sacred heart of Jesus, 
which we offer to thee as a vase that it might receive the wine of thy justice and in passing through this holy channel that it may be changed for us into the wine of thy mercy. Amen. We salute thee, we adore thee, and we love thee. O adorable face of our beloved Jesus, as the noble stamp of thy divinity, completely surrendering our souls to thee. We most humbly beg that this seal be affixed upon us all so that the image of God may once more be reproduced by its imprint in our souls. Amen. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.